Sakurema on the outskirts of Rio de Janeiro is home now to the OI Rio Pro Stop 4 on the World Surf League's Championship Tour. Welcome to the final heat of round one of competition for the men. Julian Wilson taking on Kyle Abelli and Stuart Kennedy. Where you can catch these waves, when they're going to double up, and you never know on the right. Because all of a sudden, I mean, you look here, he's in the rip. He thinks, well, maybe this thing's going to back off, but then it shuts down, so he quickly kicks out. You know, that thing could have easily just have been a full double up on the inside for him. So much potential. Such a consummate professional as well as Julian rips out the top half of that wave. Now links it again. This is looking good from Julian. Nice little... What? Oh, are you oh, kidding oh, me? Oh, 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 that was <laughs> sick. Wow. Pete Mel next to me is uh, doing somersaults again. We love it. Well, you know why? I mean, he timed the backwash. I mean, and that was so hard to land yeah. because the wave had just completely flattened out. I mean, after he was up in the air, there's no transition to land in. So much potential. Such a consummate professional as well as Julian rips out the top half of that wave. Now links it again. This is looking good from Julian. Nice little... What? Oh, are you oh, kidding oh, me? Oh, 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 that was <laughs> sick. Wow. Pete Mel next to me is uh, doing somersaults again. We love it. Well, you know why? I mean, he timed the backwash. I mean, and that was so hard to land yeah. because the wave had just completely flattened out. I mean, after he was up in the air, there's no transition to land in. And he somehow, with those cat-like reflexes, was able to keep the board under his feet. Let's check this out. I mean, beautiful wave selection once again. He's deep on the bank going left, so he's going to come over that shallow water. Again, he's going to be able to show us some versatility with the snap. And then the hooking snap one more time, a little stronger. And then here, with the backwash, gets the lift and somehow is able to hang on. You see how all of his weight stayed over the nose of his board. That's the best landing spot. You know, the board's going to be the widest area. You know, you keep that tail above the water. See, beautiful zap snap, and then straight into it. And that was sick. You see that back foot come forward? That was the, that was the ability of all, everything's so stable when you land right there. He's able to ride out of it. That's gonna be a big score. I think he's gonna have a few wins before his career's over, and he could contend for a world title, who knows? Well, here we go, he's speaking Stu Kennedy. And that wingspan out for a beautiful rail drive. Now, links it again. Its pocket is waiting for him. Squares it nicely. Great control. Now wrapping a third turn. That wave is uh, lofty and it's uh, wafting underneath him. And then Wilson again will flare it. Get wow. stuck on that one. Not going to find a 977 again, but we see where his intentions are on this heat beat. Well, I really like the way Stu Kennedy rode that wave. If you can take, we'll take a look at the replay here, but there was, his board was either placed on rail. Let's watch first Julian Wilson and see what happens here. This was a, a close one to see. Beautiful snap to start, and then the rotation, his back foot does not stay planted on. But see how his board never really changes. Uh, you know, it's, it's straight bottom turn, straight top turn, no, like, widgets at all. Right there was the only one where he kind of did little double pump bottom turn but overall that board was either engaged on the bottom turn or engaged in the snap so you're looking at the details of the glide of that board it's just so good i mean so it's purely more, right it's more technique but i mean i guess that if you look at his equipment is refined for well, julian wilson has him in the lead here of course he is leading over the former world junior champion in kaio belly join live action julian looking for a little tapered left here it's got a lot of mud stains on it so he'll exit you know his results have not really shown although he did have a runner-up at the australian open if you take a look at this wave it does have a bit of froth on the face i like how you called it muddy it is a little bit difficult to ride through the foam and suds on the wave did well there for what it was worth and what was on offer julian wilson don't know if it's really going to change his top two total that's great i've actually never been here before to sakurama and um, I've been really pleasantly surprised. It actually reminds me a lot of where I'm from in Sydney, Bronte. It's kind of a little left shorey, so I'm really happy to be here. And, you know, Trav Logie and, and Renato and I had a bit of a heat yesterday, and I probably didn't win, so... Well, inspired by Medina's loop last year in yeah. the early rounds. I mean, you see this section, this wave, and he was uh, telegraphing this one for a long period of time and goes for the flip literally upside Whoa. down completely puts the board back under his feet unfortunately is on the back of the way in a, in a technical way okay we'll talk uh, about julian wilson's fins because he does have that signature fins under his hands have a look at the replay here kaio belly getting a little bit stuck here pete yeah and that got him late to that last section and that was unfortunate because 
That little mistake, that little hesitation takes all the timing away. Kyle has been having a rough go here. I mean, he's looking at a one. Of course, uh, Laura taking that injury at PI on the Big Wave Tour. Stu Kennedy, nice little jam there. Lots of acceleration as he slashes. Nice little hit there again. Doesn't manage that backwash. Dealing with the losses much better. Julian Wilson learning to accept that as well. And well, let's see now. Stu Kennedy, the moment to talk about. Looking on for a 9-0-2 here. I'm not going to find it on that. So managing the think, mental space. I think that's one of the most important parts. Uh, you know, you're not going to keep trying to improve. Kaya's stinging right now, but that's okay. There's still round two. Let's watch the replay here. Beautiful turn. Just only the one turn. So that's not going to be the nine he needs. So it looks like uh, Julian will move on into round three. So we're wrapping up round one of competition here for the men. Very good surfing from Julian Wilson. Sakurama on the outskirts of Rio de Janeiro is home now to the OI Rio Pro Stop 4 on the World Surf League's Championship Tour. Welcome to the final heat of round one of competition for the men. Julian Wilson taking on Kaya Abelli and Stuart Kennedy. Where you can catch these waves, when they're going to double up, and you never know on the right. Because all of a sudden, I mean, you look here, he's in the rip. He thinks, well, maybe this thing's going to back off, but then it shuts down, so he quickly kicks out. You know, that thing could have easily just have been a full double up on the inside for him. So much potential. Such a consummate professional as well as Julian rips out the top half of that wave. Now links it again. This is looking good from Julian. Nice little... What? Oh, you're oh, kidding oh, me? Oh, 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 that was <laughs> sick. Wow, Pete Mel next to me is uh, doing somersaults again. We love it. Well, you know why? I mean, he timed the backwash. I mean, and that was so hard to land yeah. because the wave had just completely flattened out. I mean, after he was up in the air, there's no transition to land in. So much potential. Such a consummate professional as well as Julian rips out the top half of that wave. Now links it again. This is looking good from Julian. Nice little... What? Oh, you're oh, kidding oh, me? Oh, 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 that was <laughs> sick. Wow, Pete Mel next to me is uh, doing somersaults again. We love it. Well, you know why? I mean, he timed the backwash. I mean, and that was so hard to land yeah. because the wave had just completely flattened out. I mean, after he was up in the air, there's no transition to land in.